Hey, what is going on guys? It is Sportan here, back again with another Rocket League update video, and wow, Rocket League has come up with a lot of updates lately. Anyway, the NFL Super Bowl celebration is coming to Rocket League. Join us February 2nd through the 8th as we unveil our brand new game mode, Gridiron, event challenges, and the return of the NFL fan pack if you missed it. So let's get into the article. Ooh, ooh. Wait a second, those wheels look pretty clean. That's the first thing I saw. The NFL and Rocket League are getting ready for the big game next week with the NFL Super Bowl celebration. It's Rocket League event that's bringing the brand new game mode Grin Iron event challenges and the return of the NFL fan pack. It all starts February 2nd and will be live until February 8th. So welcome to Gridiron. This is the brand new game mode, the limited time game mode. Champions Field has been transformed for the new LTM, completed with hash marks and the NFL logo at the 50-yard line. Now huddle up. It's time to learn the rules of Gridiron. Here we go. Gridiron is 4-on-4. Four four. That's pretty cool. The standard Rocket League ball has been replaced with an American football. Oh, okay. All right. Touching the ball attaches it to the roof of your car like Spike Rush. The ball would attach to wherever your car has made contact, but in gridiron, it will always attach to your roof. Okay, so, alright, so no matter where it touches on your car, it's always on the top of your car. That's pretty cool. If any player touches the ball, that player becomes the ball carrier, setting up the opportunity for hands-offs to teammates or steals by the other team. Okay, Rocky League. The carrier can single jump, but double jumping drops the ball. You can also pass the ball by dodging. Whoa. Why is double jump? Okay, that makes actually a little bit of sense. Each goal is three or seven points. Seven points are awarded if the ball is attached to a player when entering the opponent's goal. And three points are awarded if the ball is passed in or if the ball is loose. All own goals are worth three points whether the ball is attached or it's loose. Rock League really put some time and thought into this game mode. I like this. Demos require supersonic speed just like in standard modes. Okay, uh, stay in bounds. There's a, oh my gosh, stay in bounds. You'll fumble the ball if you cross the line marked in the arena wall. Holy crap, there is out of bounds. <laughs> what? Rocket League really thought of this. Holy crap. All right, now throw on your pads, get out there and have some fun. Plus, we're adding three event challenges that can be completed to unlock the Gridiron Guru player title, NFL wheels that we see right here. That looks pretty clean i am loving these updates by the way also a little out of the way but rocket league just teamed up with ford as well i didn't do a video on that but rocket league is teaming up with a lot of big names here and i am all for it and 20,000 xp you can get from all of these things these challenges and the gridiron limited time playlist are live from february 2nd through the february 8th don't worry if you missed out on the nfl fan pack the first time I did. It will return to the item shop during the NFL Super Bowl celebration from February 2nd through the 8th. Be sure to check it out in-game, equip your favorite team's decals, hit the gridiron, and make sure to share some of your wild highlights. Mention at Rocket League on Twitter to use the hashtag RLGridiron. Hut hut hike. I am loving the amount of updates and the amount of big names that we are teaming, or not we, but Rocket League is teaming up with, like Ford, NFL, all these big names, even MLB back then. Loving it. Let me know what you guys think of this brand new limited time game mode and all of these wheels and stuff. Really excited for this. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys liked the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the next episode.